hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is anet254 if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thank you so much for tuning into this channel kindly consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed to this channel we are coming live from kenya in east africa to be specific in western region and we are here with our building episode series and um, i decided to share this journey with you because i know a lot of people are trying to build a lot of people are trying to get onto this journey but it has been so hard so i tried to share my journey so that i could inspire someone with everything that we are doing here i hope you enjoyed this video so guys today we are doing a lot a lot is happening right here this is what we are doing we're trying to make some points and window sills and generally we are trying to mold molding yeah that is what we are trying to do and i'm so happy i can't be happy enough because where it's been a journey and we are doing molding right now it's been a journey i'm so happy i'm so excited i don't know what to do i don't know if i should just scream let me scream ah, i'm just happy i'm happy i'm filled with joy extreme joy extreme happiness and i thank god for enabling us to do this so this is what i want to document today this is what i want to do with you guys today look at the house guys it looks so cool it looks so beautiful like mm, 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 mm. it looks so good i'm so happy because where it's not been easy look at it let me show you on the other side ebu look at it from this angle Eyo! <laughs> It looks wonderful. I feel like we've achieved a lot. Like right now, I feel wow. Ebu, just look at this window and tell me the difference between this and the other one that we did the other time. Let me, let me. Yeah, look at that. It looks so beautiful, and I'm so grateful to God that we've been able to achieve this uh, with the help of our fundies. Thanks to all our fundies. If you're watching this, may God bless you. Thank you so much for giving us the best and trusted we trusted in you and you delivered you delivered a hundred percent it looks so good though people might say what they want to say but hey we've come from afar and i thank god that we've been able to achieve this let me show you the whole house then we'll come back and celebrate together hmm? Able look at that. I just love the fact that uh, they have created a very beautiful space, Hapakwa window, so that it may enable us even to put some things here. Come out, we want to play some things because the other one we felt like it was so plain, it was very super plain. So we had to do some molding so that we may be able to fix this and we may be able to achieve this beautiful look. It looks so wonderful. Let me show you on the other side. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I love how the fundi created that apple jukabisa. It looks, it's art. And it's just so beautiful. It's like creating an art. Look at the other one down there. It's like creating an art, guys. From this to this. Ever someone clap for me? Someone just clap for me. I deserve a hearty clap. We deserve a hearty clap for being patient enough with God and God has finally started to answer our prayers. From this to this. Woo! <laughs> I'm so glad and I'm so grateful to God. It's not been easy, but we've been able to achieve. So guys, let me show you around the house where we've done and what we've not done. Then we'll get back. So guys, we started from this place. This was the first place they did. Uh, I just realized that they were using a lot of art, English and uh, mathematics, <laughs> mathematics to do that and to fix everything. This one, apparently the fundi told me that this is called a windowsill. This one here is a windowsill. Then this one here, this one is skating. Then this one here, this one is called a point so it's just achieving a point on the corners then this one is skating then this one is a windowsill from this other side here to this one here to the other side there up to the top that one is a windowsill that is where we started uh, the journey to molding this house that is where it all started don't worry about the jerry cans they were being used here so you see at a, it has cement on top so that is what they've been using 
for water. Tumeshota maji si mchezo. So we started from here then we went to this place here at the door we wanted something perfect for the door let me close it so you can see it perfectly that is what we wanted to achieve at the door look at it it looks so beautiful at least the house is in shape okay guys at first we had some lines here if you haven't watched my vid my other videos you won't understand so kindly log into my tune into my channel and watch my videos at first we had some lines here Papa, come here we had a line here mpaka chini kabisa so we had decided that we wanted to just have another color on the lines then uku kwengine we have another color but it looks so plain and we didn't have an option but to just do some molding at least for the house to look beautiful and modern that is what we decided to do with the house and that is what we've been playing with around the house to in a bit to be able to achieve this great look so let me show you how they started doing it and how the fundi was actually doing it then we get back and continue with the tour so here the fundi is just trying to uh, level house that is the first step on molding to because initially we had done some uh, lines i hope you can see the lines eh? we had done the lines so that we just paint and enable them to do uh, the work easily but we changed and decided uh, we didn't see it looking so good <laughs> so we changed and decided that we will do this at least some uh, this windowsill this one is windowsill apple that one is a windowsill then we have uh you see inside it's so dark then uh the other one is uh skating that one is skating i hope you can see him that one is skating yeah so he's trying to levelize the place so that it looks perfectly good and blend in together that one is a windowsill the other one is skating and this one here the corner is called a point corner point so all together all that is called molding yes <laughs> yeah so that is the first step mixing up uh, the sand kwanza hapo wametumia sand wakatumia dust na cement so mixing and then ensuring you add water from time to time to ensure that it's not uh, it's not hard so that oh unashika pole pole hakuna mtu alikufunza yeah so that is what he's trying to do so after he does that the other fundi when you levelize will come then uh, levelize hapo kabisa so that patoshani with the other side that has been skated already mm. yeah so that is what he has done then this one is levelizing them this one is the molding fundi He's a, he's specialized on that. That is why he's the only one levelizing. The others are just helping him to do the nini, then he'll do the finishing. Yeah. That is what he's trying to do. Skating, pointing and windowsill. That is what we are doing and generally they are called molding. Eh. So that is then uh the the other the other lines that we had is the one that is trying to close it now because we didn't want it it didn't suit us so we decided to seal it and do some window seals and the other but iso lines it got to make to make it 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 kuchota haraka haraka bila stress then hiyo ni kijiko inaitwa speed in english let's see what's going on on the other side 
So I love the fact that he was very straight. He, they were using some ropes and uh, uh, rulers to achieve these, those engineering rulers. <laughs> I don't know how it's called, but that is what they used to achieve this and uh, to give this maximum look that is on this house. You see these lines, Bado Zikohapa. That is what we had at first. We had some small lines. I'll show you at the back of the house what we had at first. Because Huko, Bado Wajamaliza. Then we came to this beautiful place. We, uh, this one is the corridor, the front porch. We have that flower there. You see, it looks so good. Uh, and we did this art here with the fundies they were they've been of help and they delivering so much oh <laughs> vivi yeah. oh so we we did this and uh, these are the lines you see they have tried to seal them up to the bottom those were the lines that we had um uh, at the start and we didn't like them so we told the fundi to do some molding for us so this molding here at first you're supposed to have cement you have you have sand and you have some dust so that is what they've been mixing to achieve this great look let me show you the dust the sand and cement so this is the sand that we've been using it's just from the river Okochini. This is the sun, but we bought it. It's not for free. We buy, we, we're buying it from people that have already looked for it. Then cement, we used this Simba cement. This is what we've been using uh, to ensure that we create a beautiful space. Then over here we have dust. This is what we've been using this is dust those that said on it show us dust what is dust we don't know this is dust i hope you can see it clearly this is dust so dust i think yes that is dust <laughs> that is dust that's what we've been using then we have sand and we have cement bags of cement i'll sh i'll give you a quotation and uh in, in another video and show you uh, what we did and what we did buy and how much it costed us so just tune in into this channel uh. this is why i'm telling you guys we need to hurry up and move out of this house look at it it's just ants are just what are they called Nita, do you see in English? Do you see in English? So my sister is just trying to put some hot ash. So you see, some of them are dying. Most of them are dying. You see, hot ash is the remedy for these things if they are in your house. This is where they are staying. This is where in Aumanga. Simi najua zinauma vivi. Zishai ni uma nikienda forest kuingine. Nikuma sa iti gani? Koma taka. So that is what we used and that is what we mixed to achieve this beautiful and uh, interesting uh, pleasing to the eye look on our house. I'm, I'm so glad that we've been able to achieve this. Mm through the support of our dad thank you so much dad for everything um then we came to this other wall we tried to create uh you see the then in the flowers they're just the same no apple we have one and here we have two of them that look quite clear but i've noticed that this one is like a young cook after meeting in Asia. so they'll just come and fix this one again so I'll, I'll try to talk to the fundies. Then here, over here, guys, we didn't finish our our construction because, so you know, if you've noticed that this place is not finished, it's because we have this kitchen here and it's supposed to be removed so that we will be able to they be able to cement here because it wasn't it was impossible. So I think that's the reason why they didn't do this place. So don't worry. Immediately we remove we we remove this kitchen our kitchen that we are still using will uh, make that place don't worry these are utensils this is where we we put our utensils in africa you see 
in in kimaragoli we call it kitarazi <laughs> utensil rack now you guys in town buy utensil racks and this one here in the village we use this this is our utensil rack you see it has place for the furias and for the other utensils that is a utensil rack yeah guys so the next thing we did was on this other side so here we've just tried to to cement here with the remaining with the remaining cement we've just tried to create a place because our cows stay here for the meantime but we'll try and build another another place for them so you see even one is just grazing we have these cows here this is where they eat from so you see their food is here so these are maize maize stalks we cut the ones that have refused to to yield <laughs> those are the ones that we are, we are cutting them in the bible they say that uh, the people that the, those fruits that don't yield wanazikata and other new ones come up and grow and flourish and blossom so these are the ones that because if you leave them in the farm they they'll cause hazard to the others that are remaining in the farm the good ones so we have to remove them and give them to the cow to feed yeah. so that is it about this place then the next thing we did we came to this other wall it's so long up to the other side so we did a flower here then we came uh, to this place i love the fact that they created a beautiful space here uh, at the toilet window but it's a toilet window yeah so that is what we did you see it's a drishacho. so we created a beautiful um windowsill here you see the flower I just love the fact that the fundi tried to levelize each and every part and ensure that we in, we, we we have an equal windowsill on, on both sides of the house. So that is it. These are the lines that I'm talking about that we are trying to seal them with cement because we don't need them anymore if you are doing some moldings on the house. Yeah. Then we created another one here. This is just a flower and it's just getting generally we have another point here then we came to this side today this is the place that we, we we've been doing today actually you can see that it's not yet dry so this is just fresh so you see the line now in onikana vizuri apa kidogo but they close it don't worry so we have those window cells that we tried to do on this window here this is our bedroom the kids bedroom here i love the fact that he's trying to go with an equal and the same uh design everywhere so that the house don't look so complicated so that when we are even putting some rangi we know where to to apply the paint and everything that is going on so the the only thing that is remaining on this house is just paint i hope you can notice those lines there those are the lines that i'm telling you we're just trying to fix them and ensure that uh they they are sealed completely so that to keep a rangi this yonekani that is what we are doing then here we came here i don't know why he decided to do this here i think he just it just looks good but it looks good so that is what we did those lines are still there we we had the lines actually everywhere around the house but they are sealed now so hakuna <laughs> stress size in ilada yenye walikuwa wanatumia kupanda uko juu kuweka hizo flowers uko juu kabisa we have others uko juu this is what they used so yeah so you see apa chini hata bado ni fresh they just from this place doing this place so yeah i just love how he's trying to create a beautiful space even at the corners so that the house don't look so boring it's good to have a beautiful house not a boring house yeah so the only thing that we're remaining with is a vio vio pekeake the fundi has told us that the vios will cost around one one window like this one will cost around 1400 kenyan shillings another one like this one 1400 1400 by eight that is the amount that we use for the windows then we came to this other place this is where we did um, 
the same same thing but actually here it was a bit bigger because this space is big compared to this one so that is why you see they are not over much but it looks the same yeah so this one is the back porch the back porch of the house this is it as you see inside yeah this is the back porch of the house so you see the skating i love how he did skating and i love the fact that he levelized it from the front to the back that shows that he's very qualified if you want him to do something like this for you something amazing something beautiful contact me so that i will be able to organize it for you then we came to the back door this is the back door of the house this is the back side of the house you see we have a kitchen garden here yeah but in the in the future uh we're trying to not even in the future next year if god blesses us we're trying to to create here we will build here a, another kitchen because so you understand ushago lazima you have an outside kitchen because some things are always pick up gas so this place here we'll have an outside kitchen here then we'll have another room extra room for my cousins to stay in yeah so that is what we are trying to achieve here this is where we'll have a kitchen and another extra room for my cousins yeah if god blesses us with the money so we just pray that god releases the money quickly to us god please answer our play prayers hey karibu ni same players <laughs> yeah so we came to this side of the house and we did this beautiful uh art hmm? this beautiful art that is what we achieved on the house and it looks so wonderful and i'm grateful to god that we actually did this so you see it looks beautiful we thank god so here we have like one two three four five six windows six windows uzuri it has this thing ya kufunga so mchanga imejaa ndani tu but it's okay then it has this one ya kufungua ukiwa nje so when you are coming from the kitchen that will be here let's try to imagine you just come all the way then you come then you, when even when you're carrying something you just open with one hand and say i'm here <laughs> so these are like the li these are the lines that i'm talking about let me move so you can see them clearly those were the lines that i'm talking about that we were trying to achieve the last time but we didn't because um it it wasn't uh pleasing to the eye oh, yeah actually my dad didn't like it my mom didn't like it too so we decided to do some molds in the house and ensure that build we, we are building something that my parents love that is what we are trying to create I was saying guys we did these lines but my parents didn't like it so you remember my video that i did and told you mistakes that we do when we are building Number one, building something that you don't like. So when they put this with the fundis, actually I wasn't around. So when I came and I saw these lines, I was like, why? what are they for? And they told me they are planning to do a, a different paint here and a different paint here. Then I said, no, we need some molding. And my dad was like, no, I didn't like them too, but I didn't see any reason to, to nini with them. So I just went with the vibe. But... So my mom didn't like them too and because we are building them their dream house and we're building something that we want them to be comfortable in we made sure that we changed that so that is what we are trying to do by sealing these lines here sealing these lines and building these window sills and points and um, skating the house to ensure that it looks beautiful and wonderful for my parents and everyone that will be staying in here build something that you'll be comfortable yourself in don't build something because of someone or to build because the foodie has said build because you want to build a house for yourself and your kids and everyone that will come to visit you to feel comfortable in and even if people come to you they'll feel comfortable staying in your house on and you will also feel comfortable for people coming to your house because you'll know that you built something amazing that people will like ai nimeanza kwa motivational speak <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I'm just like that. I'm happy. I'm so overwhelmed with joy. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I just love the ambience that this house is creating here in our village in our compound. I just love 
the ambience it's coming with, the vibrancy that it's coming with. Guys, it's, I'm happy. I'm so happy that we've been able to achieve this. We're just remaining with this this place. Uh, we, we are remaining with these uh, pointings. Then we are remaining with the windowsill for the window at the dining. That is the dining there. And we'll be done with the house. Then we'll wait for paint. So guys, let me let me wait for the next day tomorrow that they'll be doing this place. Then I'll come and finish this place. Then we'll be done with the uh, molding and we'll wait for painting. If God blesses us with money. <laughs> so guys, it's another beautiful day. And as you can see, we are done with everything that we were doing. I told you that I'll document it the next day so that we'll be able to fix it to the video and see the complete house molding. This is what they've done today. This was the, the, the nini that was remaining, the wall that was remaining. You see they have done skating here and on top. Kule Kabisa. Then they've done the window, the windowsill. Hapo, kwayo window hapo, up to the end pale, and uh, as you can see, also they have already sealed these lines that I told you, we don't need them, so they've sealed them already, and there's nothing much, it's nothing new, I'd already explained yesterday everything, so we are done, we are completely done with everything that we are supposed to do, um, with the progress of molding, done, tick. <laughs> We are already done then it was remaining with this part so you can see that window we've already created a window sill over there and the art where it was supposed to be all the lines have been fixed and sealed uh, skating has been done the points are so clear they've been done see this one is a point it's been done and <coughs> We can't thank God enough because he's enabled us to do that. So this is everything is complete and we give thanks to God. Um, so you see from here, it was it started from here. The, yesterday when we were touring, Walkwame Maliza Hapa. So it was just remaining this wall and the other one. But right now they have fixed everything and we are done with molding. So guys, that is it. That is it about molding on our house. So guys, that has been our video today. If you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my videos, guys. Don't just subscribe, comment so that YouTube can even recognize me and, and suggest me to other viewers so that they may be able to watch me and feel happy with me because I want to share this joy with everyone around the world, across the globe, and I hope that I inspire people. If you're building, continue, start with the little you have. The only thing that is hard is the start. But if you start, I don't see if there is a problem with the com the continuing and finishing. Start, then after starting, God will bless you and you'll finish your house. That has been our video today. If you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. I love you so much, guys. Thank you for the love. Right now, we are at 802 subscribers. By the time you're watching this video, I trust in God that we'll be at 1,000 subscribers. I love you so much, guys. Until next time, 